Hey math fans, Jason Marshall here with a quick video extra appendix to Math Dude episode 25 on the third of the big three M's of averaging, the mode. Did you have a chance to think about the mean, median, and mode puzzle from episode 25? Here's the question to refresh your memory. Find a set of five data values with modes 0 and 2, median 2, and mean 2. Before we start in on solving this puzzle, let's quickly review the differences between the three M's of averaging. Let's look at the list of numbers 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. The mean is the sum of the list divided by the number of elements in the list. In this case, it's 2. The median is the middle number in the list when we write it in order from smallest to largest, and the mode is the number that occurs most frequently. In this case, the median and mode are both 2. Okay, we're now ready to solve the puzzle. We need five numbers, and this group of numbers has to have certain properties. Namely, there must be two modes, 0 and 2. Let's start there. In order to be a mode, there must be two or more of that number. So, in this case, the set of five numbers has to have two each of 0 and 2. There can't be three of either, because then that number with three would be the only mode. So we already know four of the five numbers in our set. 0, 0, 2, 2. Now, we also know that the median of the five numbers has to be 2, and the mean has to be 2 as well. Right now, the mean of the first four numbers is 1, so we know that the fifth and final number has to be larger than 2 to get a mean of 2. That works out well for the median as well, because we know that our five numbers must look like 0, 0, 2, 2, something, so 2 is guaranteed to be the median, just as we need. So what does the final number have to be to get a mean of 2? Well, there are lots of ways to approach the problem, but here's one. What number divided by 5 is 2? That's right, it's 10. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. So our list of 5 numbers has to add up to 10 in order for the mean to be 2. Right now the total is 4. It's 0 plus 0 plus 2 plus 2. It's 4. So the final number must be 10 minus 4 equals 6. And that's it. The final list of numbers is 0, 0, 2, 2, 6. Okay, that's all for now. Until next time, this is Jason Marshall with this week's Math Dude Video Extra. Thanks for watching, math fans.